Muhammad Ayman, Bin Sayyid, Abdul Fattah, Muhammad, Rahim, Muhammad, Salim, Ayat. It was online, my name. Uh, I'm a civil engineering student here in KPBM. I was born in 1995 in Medina, where we used to live. Uh, so about my interests and hobby, I think uh, I'm into uh, traveling. I like to travel, even though I didn't travel that much. Uh, I'm into music. I like all kinds. I like all kinds of music. Also, I'm not. I'm not much into sports, but I used to go to the gym uh, in my high school years. I love swimming. It's my favorite uh, uh, sport of all time. Uh, I, even though I was really, really, really scared of going to uh, into the water uh, or even near a swimming pool. But my father always tell me, uh, try to always conquer your fear. So I was, and when I was seven, I think, I took my first lesson. And uh, the, so, since then, uh, it was like my favorite sport. I'm also um, not much into reading. But I like watching documentary, series, movies, all this stuff. Okay, so um, as I told you, I, were, uh, I, I was born in Medina, but I left when I was four years um, or um, four and a half years old. Uh, I came back to <coughs> Egypt. I had my elementary school there, uh, basically my childhood. But my father got another job in Al Qasim, right down. We went there. We, um, it, uh, it felt a little bit strange, even though I was born uh, basically in Saudi Arabia, but um, uh, I got used to live in Egypt. Uh, it was different culture, it was different uh, uh, minds, um, different, uh, uh, maybe the dialogue or the accent. Uh, we had a little bit uh, conflict there. So I was a little bit nervous, but in my high school, uh, we got, I got more used to living here. Uh, it was, uh, it becomes more easy. I met my closest friend. We went from uh, the bottom to the top. Uh, from the day we got arrested one day to the, the day we graduated uh, with the top or with the highest score. Uh, about the story about getting me arrested, story for another day. We'll uh, keep it. There. So uh, I finished my high school. I went to Egypt. Uh, uh, of course, I applied for KPBM, but uh, I thought, why not spending the first semester in a in university in Egypt? I went to Enchamps University, same university Abdullah went. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't meet. I didn't meet him there. Yeah. I was surprised when I, you know, he was there. <coughs> of course. Um, um, uh, when I finished, uh, when I finished the, f the first semester, I came back to Brida where uh, my family planned to a trip. I planned a trip to Dubai. I went there for a couple, for uh, three days or something. Uh, my father called me he, uh, he, uh, about um, the scholarship. I got accepted in KPBM and I have to uh, apply my diploma and my other paper to the university. So it was a little bit shocking, but um, uh, the, the call was made before midnight, I think. So I took my first flight. Uh, I was very tired, of course, because uh, I spent a whole day uh, sightseeing or something in Dubai. But um, uh, I slept uh, a couple of hours or something. I went to the airport, took the first flight to Egypt, went to the university, and of course, so the system in Egypt is very complicated, you know? Um, it, was very troubled. Uh, I had uh, uh, major problems just because I need to take my file out of the university. Anyway, I managed to um, to take it out. I, um, I managed to take it out. Then I used. Uh, I managed to take it out. So sorry. Uh, went back to my apart uh, my apartment. Gathered anything. My clothes. My um, the rest of my clothes, uh, anything that I had my hand on. Uh, went back to the airport again, took the next flight to the MEM. When I came here to the MEM, my father's friend uh, was receiving me there. And uh, we went to a hotel in Al-Khobar. We booked it, and uh, I, I was there uh, resting. Uh, took my shower, 
grade or something like that. So before I went to sleep, I wanted to check in the folder that I had my diploma and uh, the other stuff. When I tried to find it, uh, I was not able to find it. I, it was like some kind of loss or something. It has uh, my, my high school diploma, it has my passport, it has my um, uh, uh, many important papers, I think, uh, identifying me or something or certificates. So uh, I was really shocked because like, uh, first of all, I can't go back to Egypt. I don't have my passport. I already um, uh, left the university in Egypt. I can't come back. I, will, I, I thought I will lose the scholarship because I will not make it at, ti uh, at the time. So uh, my whole world just collapsed. Uh, um, I felt like uh, already lost everything. So um, I called my father's friend who was living in the MAM. He came to al Khobar, took me to the airport. It was like maybe seven or eight hours after uh, I uh, landed in the MAM. So when I uh, when I done that, I came back to the airport. The airport um, went to the security. Um, in the airport, and uh, uh, Alhamdulillah, I need the, uh, the folder was there. I, this was like my very happy, the most important uh, moment in my life, I think, it was the, uh, a happy ending for me, and uh, that's what I wanted to tell you about. Thank you very much. And, uh,